Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I have a few more things to share with you today. Inspiration, journals, paper crafting supplies, things that I think you'll enjoy. There's not a whole lot. It's a little bit of a smaller, smaller video, because it's not the right word. Shorter video, smaller haul, whatever you want to call it. I have a really busy day today with uh, dentist appointments and chiropractor appointments and grocery shopping and all of that. I'm sure you understand and can relate, but I did want to bring you a bit of inspiration before I head off. So um, let's get right into it. I have in Lindsay's Handmade, this is a little playing card box that's been altered and it has a whole bunch of ephemera pieces in it from Vintage Image Club. You can join that over um, in the huge sale section of my website. And then there's a couple of book fussy cut flowers, but the rest are all uh, there's Kitty and Me Ephemera in my shop, and then the rest are Vintage Image Club. They're cardstock and ready to be used in your journals, and then you can reuse that cute little box. Uh, my mother-in-law, Connie, has a section, uh, Connie's Handmade Goodies, and she made some flower paper clips with a little bead in the middle. So check out the different colors and listings she has there. She has a section. And then she crocheted some hearts and then has beaded dangles. Like, how pretty would that be? Like, uh, here's a journal I'm going to show you in a minute. But as you can see, it'd be really pretty to stick on the cover of a journal. And so I believe there's two of those and then three little heart clips that go uh, with the beaded hearts. And what else does she have? Some really pretty pink and white dangles, as well as a tassel that is beautiful, a peach and white tassel that has two dangles. So check those out in her section. I know you will move these out of my way and I'll show you the journal I completed. So this journal was using up scraps, mostly. I have so many scraps on my desk and I'm trying to find homes and journals for some of them. Now the wallpaper I got from uh, Angela in a swap that we did. So thank you, Angela. I made a cover, a journal cover with it. It's stitched. And then um, it is a black and colored yarn. And then just a pretty bird. I don't remember the shop. It might be Calico Collage. I'm not sure. I had it printed out and I was trying to use it up and I can't remember where I got it from. Uh, it is lined with I think it's vintage gift wrap and there's just a piece of washi there pocket and then different um, journal little bits papers journal card from Victoria designs there's a whole bunch of different shops in here I'm not gonna mention all of them because a lot of them are scraps but I did print I will mention what I printed I printed some papers from antique papery so I do have some of those Got some book pages, lots of ephemera. Here's some wallpaper, goodies clipped on. So, Artie Mays Dragonfly pockets, tags. Got Vintage Image Club images there. Got paper ribbons throughout. There's a little glassine bag with some ephemera in that. This is also an Artie Mays dragonfly fabric flip vintage sheet music got bird stamps lots of ephemera victoria designs ephemera little look at the little kitty snippet i made there the vintage tea time more paper ribbons I got this from Angela too, from an old book. I actually took it out. Isn't that beautiful? So I wanted to include that whole uh, page there and then a little tag. I think this is from Elsie Bell's bookshelf. Little playing card tuck spot. Dragonflies from Artie Mays. Avalon Rose Fussy Cut. Victoria Designs, little wallpaper edging on the text. It's from Vintage Image Club, and so is that. So 60 pages, nine by six wallpaper and gift wrap cover. 
pretty much just using scraps. No real theme, just all things lovely. I might even call it that, all things lovely junk journal. So this is in the handmade by Lindsay section. Now I do have some journals from Paula and I'm excited to share these with you. There's three, but if you know Paula's journals, Paula Featherston, they're insane, intense. There's a lot to them. So three journals still will take some time to get through. I think this might be some kind of a folio actually. Let us take a look. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, looks like there is, okay, it's not a folio, but that's neat. In the back, there's a really thick pocket that she has a goodie bag in. So you can store a goodie bag in the back. That's really neat. So let's take a look at the journal. She does a lot of collaging and artwork. She's also one of my suppliers. So the type of thing she makes for her journals, she also makes for the shop. And um, she's relatively new to that. And she made these journals a while ago. But um, she is definitely an artist. And so you'll be seeing more things from her soon. She's working on the next batch. But I had these journals and needed to get them shown. Nature book pages. Little Peter Rabbit. I love the different size pages. Gorgeous nature pages, I love that. This page here has all been woven from different papers. So how neat is that? Little sun stencil, places to journal, lots of collaging. Look at that, I think she uh, drew that on there or colored, painted it, colored it on there. Eco dyed paper, look at that collage dress she made. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Super fun, super different. It is a chunky one, so there's not a whole lot of room to chunk it up, but there's still room to add your favorite bits and pieces. So this is in the marketplace section of the website. And then there's this one. She has a, a giant pouch for it. Okay. Wow. All right, let's take a look. Oh, Lindsay. Oh, maybe she, did she send me that? I'm assuming that this must be for me since it has my name on it. Let me see. I always hate assuming things, but it does have a tag and it does have my name. So we'll take a look. Yeah, it's just some goodies she sent me. How sweet. Thank you. Bright and colorful. I love it. Oh, I love that. So pretty. Thank you. I love that pouch. You know, I love pouches. So that was really nice. My boys are loud in the background as normal. Thank you, Paula. So what do we have here? Nine and a half by eight. So she said, that's pretty. Look at the pocket. Ah, hand quilted cover. Oh, look at that. So pretty. Look at, I mean, just what she does. Her color scheme, her collaging. How fun. It reminds me a little bit of the YouTube channel, The Rebookery. Now I have not um, watched recently. I don't know if she's posted any recent things but I used to watch some of her videos and she does all of these random things, but when she puts them together, they're so neat. And that's what Paula's work reminds me of all these different types of pages and the artwork she does, her imagination. It's truly remarkable. Look at all these different size pages, little doodles. So you definitely get something that is super fun to work in when you get one of Paula's journals. Love it. And really, really neat that it comes in a pouch for sure. All right, let me tie that up. So neat. Look at the beads on that. And there's even a little kitty tag on the back. That is beautiful fabric. You got a nice, oh, Yep, you get your own pouch too. That was my pouch. And then you get a goodie pouch that 
you can use to decorate your journal and a nice big bag to store it in. And it, the bag is big enough that you could put your glue stick, your scissors and things like that. So for traveling or maybe just keeping in some place outside of your craft room, you can kind of keep everything together. The last journal we're going to look at from Paula and the final journal for the day is a challenge journal. So in the marketplace, I do challenges. Let me see. Oh, I think this is just wrapped in fabric. So probably just going to remove the fabric, not try to rewrap it in there. Let's take a look and see. What do we have here? Wow, look at that. Maybe I'll wrap it back up so you guys can use that fabric. It's like a faux leather. So this is a challenge journal. She used the um, digitals. I'm pretty sure it's a challenge journal anyway. Let's see. It's called Addie's Album, A Young Girl Scrapbook from Days Gone By. Yes, she used Lovely Ladies, What She Wore, Blooming African Violets, Boho Beauty, and some Graphics Fairy. So she, this is a challenge journal using the vintage, all the different vintage ladies digitals that we were playing with in May. And she used all these different, um, wow, she's a lot of beautiful vintage ephemera in here as well. It's chunky, so it doesn't really lay super flat. So... There is that, but it is stuffed with incredible items. So to me, these are like actual vintage pieces of ephemera. That's what's super cool. To me, this is a wonderful place to keep your vintage ephemera. And it's like she did it as a piece of art. Like this was Addie's scrapbook. I just think that is so neat. Like, look, she's put in little pieces of fabrics actual vintage ephemera plus other ephemera. It's so convincing and it's so cute. It's like a scrapbook. She really made it look like an old scrapbook. I think that's so neat. I know somebody's going to really enjoy this and be able to pour over all of the little details in here. It's truly, truly beautiful. I have not seen a challenge journal this month like this, so I think that's really neat. It looks like a girl handmade it and added all these amazing items in it. So I just think that's so cool. Thank you, Paula, for sharing that with us. I hope that you guys will subscribe. You'll like this video. Enjoy the little bit of uh, shopping items I've added to the shop. And um, yeah, before you know it, we, we will be back with another video and more journals. There are two May Challenge Box journals left uh, before we get into doing June Challenge. And I hope that you will participate in the July Challenge journals. I would love to see a few new people create some items and some, I mean, some journals. That would just be amazing. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see all of you later.